The vast tracts of forest in Nungwe National Park are one of Rwanda's prime tourist attractions. It's the largest remaining mountain rainforest in East Africa and nurtures astonishing biodiversity. The park is home to hundreds of species of birds, many kinds of primates and an abundance of rare plant life. Tourists who come here first, they will enjoy the rainforest. That's the thing they should keep in the memory. The other thing, the primates that live in the world and which are habituated for tourism. Nyungwe hosts 13 species of primates more than in any other area in Africa. Many of these plants and animals are restricted range species that are only found in this specific region of East Africa. Nisengi Umva from the Wildlife Conservation Society has been involved in surveying them. This is the largest mountainous forest remaining in this region. And having different species, biological species, which are endemic, which can only be found in this area. And for instance, primates in huge number of around 800 chimpanzees in the last census we did. And also the plant species, we do have more than 200 plant species found in this area, which are endemic. And looking at the bird species, they're also endemics and which cannot found anywhere else. Nungwe covers an area where several large-scale biographical zones meet, providing a great variety of ecosystems. The tall, close canopy forests are interspersed with grassland and marshes. This open space, as you can see, is a swamp, and it's called Kameranzovu. It's where all the water from the mountains flows in, and then the ecosystem, the swamp itself, retain water. It's an area where there are different species, including birds and, uh, and for amphibians as well, there are uh, different species. Again, the different type of, of habitat and plants and uh, whereby you have like orchids in that, which are specific, endemic for this area. Studying biodiversity here helps us understand how to maintain healthy ecosystems elsewhere. The main lesson to see is really how to sustain life in this forest. And that's what is needed for our life. Protecting the spectacular biodiversity of Nungwe is not just important to conservationists. It's starting to bring economic rewards for local people. Indeed, it's a wonderful attraction for tourists. And that is, again, creates jobs to communities and it brings in foreign currencies. And yes, and it, it gives money to many people. For Kambogo, the protection of Nungwe's biodiversity has made it possible to transform his passion for the forest into his livelihood. When I was young, I wished to be in the forest, to be in big trees. And when I asked my mother where the tree comes from, she was always telling me I have to go to the forest and they ask the rangers, then they give me more explanation. Then I had that opportunity to learn about trees and animals in the, in the forest and primates. Then I got a job from my experience. Uh, 